our first weekend of camping in 2023 with the new Thor Motor Corp Coach Class TV box. This fire is keeping us warm out here. It's not bad. It was a beautiful day up near 80. But uh, here we go. It's camping season. Hello, fellow travelers. This is Sheldon and Tara, your 518 travelers, coming to you from beautiful Boston Spa, New York, which is just a stone's throw northwest of the capital city of Albany, New York. We want to thank you for checking out our channel and for watching this vlog. In today's episode of the 518 Traveler, Tara and I take a quick two-night uh, camping trip down to a place called Rondell Valley Campsites, which is down near Kingston, New York, to check and make sure that everything in the camper is working before we uh, take all of our trips that we have planned for this summer. We hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, so everything on the camper that we've We've uh, tried testing out on this um, little two-night uh, two excursion up to Rondau Valley in New York to test out the, uh, the motorhome. This is our first time we've used it. We're trying to make sure that everything totally works when we go on a short trip before we take a long trip. Like we've got Wildwood, New Jersey plans. We're going to Niagara Falls. We've got all sorts of camping trips. Uh, we're going to Pennsylvania. Uh, we're going to go to Mystic Seaport. We've got camping trips five or six already for the summer planned out and we wanted to just uh, really give the uh, camper a dry run and uh, so far everything's working fine the awning came out with no problem works fine bless you honey awning works fine um, all the locks outside here all work perfectly fine on the covers on the doors the ladder is great the, uh, we turned the furnace on this morning because it, it was beautiful yesterday. It was about 80 degrees, but we didn't get here until almost 8 o'clock because I had to tutor after school until 5, and then this is a, almost a two-hour trip from Boston Spa. Uh, but it was cold this morning, so we turned on the gas and the furnace, and the furnace ran fine. So, so far, I mean, everything on the camper is working fine. We did have a water problem at the house. The hot water heater wasn't getting water. Um, before we put the slide out and we didn't have the slide out out but we put the when we got here and we plugged in the electric and we put the slide out out this slide out right here um the water's working fine so i got a feeling that the um one of the supply lines water lines got crimped somehow so it's working fine now the hot water heater works fine we got really really hot water going through the electric works fine um and the dog, our dog, which is your, your little power watcher, your surge protector for your camper so nothing surges through and blows everything out, that's working fine off their electric. So it's a good electric box. That actually looks like a newer electric. Like I said, the water and everything works fine. So everything out here um, is working fine. So um, like I said, uh, the outside shower, haven't tried that yet, but I'm probably pretty sure that's going to work. I'll give it a shot. Yep, the outside shower works fine. Both hot and cold. Gotta get some air out of there when it sits. It's sitting all winter. Yeah, everything out here is working great. And I'll get back to you. The fan in the bathroom works as well. Shower works good. Checking everything out. The intention of this video was to just make sure that everything worked in the uh, new camper this way we wouldn't run into any problems when uh, we actually used it on a big trip. But I figured we may as well showcase the Rondau Valley Campground, which is in Ulster County, a place called Accord, New York, because it is a very, very nice campsite. The campsite is very clean. I would have to say that it's, it's pretty modern. The grounds are well kept. It's got a camp store on your way in that I showed in a picture uh, in this segment. It's got this little uh, restaurant type place, um, recreation area where I, I assume that they also have like live music and events that go on here. We haven't been here before and there weren't any events that we saw for this weekend. 
Um, but it's plenty big enough for that with some games and stuff. So I'm sure that's exactly what this area right here is for. The campground has a very nice park area over here. The pool itself looks like it's well kept. I assume that they'll open up the pool Memorial Day weekend. That's when most uh, campgrounds do. Um, but we have to say that Terry and I really liked it a lot here. We have plans to come back down here again. The issue that we ran into is that we came up late on a Friday night and it's first come, first serve. You cannot reserve a site here, unfortunately. Uh, next time we'll come up on a Thursday or something and uh, get up here early enough to get a better site. It is a thousand trails uh, approved campground. So uh, they expect uh, certain uh, things out of their campgrounds and they sell those memberships here, those memberships here as well. We're on our way home from our camping trip to uh, Rondout Valley campsites and uh, everything went pretty well. The uh, furnace worked, the water worked, hot water worked, um, all the fans inside here worked, shower worked fine, toilet worked fine, sink worked fine, it ran well coming here. We have tons of storage, um, all the lights worked, <clears throat> everything worked except for one thing, the radio and the backup camera is not coming on. But Tara troubleshooted that um, while I've been driving and there's a little reset button on there that we use a paper clip to reset. So that's about the only thing that we need to worry about. Other than that, the slide out went out fine. Everything, it, it was uh, the camper, is, it's a very good camper. It is a 2018, so it is five years old, but it only had 5,400 miles on it when we bought it. So really, it's, it's a brand new camper. They barely used it. <clears throat> so we're very happy with the camper that we got this class C. So this was a good trip, a two-day trip to find out what works and what doesn't, what needs, if it needs anything. So say when we do bigger trips as the uh, summer goes on, uh, we'll make sure and know to get things fixed prior to that. But only the radio. That's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to leave any comments. Please remember, this is a family channel. Make sure they are clean. We would love it if you would subscribe. And also hit that notifications bell so for the next uh, video I, get, I put out, you'll get it right away. Thanks so much. The issue with the radio and backup camera not working is that the battery disconnect to the coach needs to be on when you want to use it. Problem solved.